I like to make a bubble diagram after I've assembled all of the wants and needs of the client, then I uh, translate that into a preliminary graphic view. And I call that a bubble diagram. And basically what it is, is a series of bubbles that don't show the scale, uh, but really just show the relationship of the rooms. Uh, and I generally start out with a bubble diagram representing the um, garage. And then what kind of rooms do I want from the garage? Well, probably want a back hall closet, maybe a, a laundry room. Well, actually the laundry room might want to be in the front with windows and a closet. And, uh, oh yeah, how about a powder room? Okay, so <clears throat> let's label that. Uh, Oh, let's see if we can label that a little bit better. Nope, don't like that either, but let's see. So that's the garage, laundry room, closet, powder room, or lab. So that'd be the back hall. Those are the things that you would want to be able to access when you come in from the garage. And then close to that, we want um, a kitchen. Let's make that a little bit thicker. We want a kitchen. And what do we want off of the kitchen? Well, we might want uh, a family room and a breakfast nook. That might work for us. So let's see, kitchen, and then a family room, and then a breakfast nook. So that makes sense. Now, what would we want close to the kitchen? Well, that might be the uh, dining room. And then we might have a foyer, uh, right? And then of course, off of the foyer, we might want some stairs and another powder room and maybe an office. Okay, so uh, let's label those. So this is the dining room. Notice that there's really no scale. This is the foyer and this might be the office and a powder room. We would definitely want a closet for our guest closet. So, um, I live mostly in Michigan uh, and uh, you know, it gets cold here in the winter time. So when our guests come over in the winter time, they have a closet that we can take their coats and put it in off of the foyer. And then, uh, but in Florida, that might be a different story. So as the architect in this class of, the, of your house, you know, if you don't decide to put in the closet, that's, that's fine. You're the architect and you get to decide how it works. So what else would we want? Well, I think the uh, we might want a great room. So let's do that. So what's missing? Anything? Uh, yep. Yeah. How do we get upstairs? So let's say we want to go upstairs uh, in two places. Maybe I want to have a backhaul stair. So we could take that and put it right here. And I might want to have a main stair or the drama stair, you know, the stairs. That you, so I might want a stair here. So we could do that. So, well, don't have to actually mark it as a stair. If, well, yeah, we'll call it, we'll label it a stair. Okay and ST. Okay, so those are the relationships of the, of the rooms. And that's just the starting point that just shows us how the rooms would relate to each other. And that's just never exactly how things work out, but it just sort of helps me to transition from the list of rooms that I wanna have in the house to the relationship of the rooms. And then the next thing is of course is to, um, 
actually change that into hard lines using the program. 